Hey everybody, Scott here in the Eastwood Garage and thanks for joining us for another live video. Today we want to talk about one of our new innovative welding helmets. Uh, if you guys are looking to upgrade your welding helmet or if you're looking to just get into the game, you should seriously consider looking at our panoramic welding helmet. It's got a lot of great features, but before we get too far into this, I want to let you guys know we want to make this interactive as possible. So we have Randy over here. How's it going, Scott? Not too bad. How about you? Uh, good. I want to hear about this helmet a little more. I mean, I uh, had a chance to use it some last last week and besides the field of vision um the people are really going to like the, the clarity because yeah it, it's it, a real it's, game it's really changer. sharp and we were able to shoot some videos to really show it but um yeah so make sure if you guys have any questions uh youtube or facebook you ask them so that way randy can take care of you you can also shoot them over to me we can answer them live here uh during the shoot so let's go ahead and, and talk about some of these features um I mean, the biggest thing, obviously, is the fact that it's the new panoramic helmet. So we just have it up against our large view here to kind of give you an idea of what you're dealing with. Uh, as you can see, the front main window you're looking through is already itself much larger, but you're also going to get a viewing window on each side of this, uh, this helmet. So if you're sitting there in an odd position where you just can't quite turn your head because you're stuck underneath a car or something like that, uh, you can actually look out the side of these. Now they will always darken to the same. They're always going to be darkening to an 11, no matter what you have the helmet set at, but it's still a great feature. So, I mean, this particular helmet is solar rechargeable, it, but it does also have two user battery, serviceable batteries. We'll get to that later. I was going to flip it around. Um, so the battery is going to last for a long time. And then the main screen here in the center, you can actually adjust anywhere from a shade four all the way up to a shade 12. So you can utilize this for more than just uh, welding, you can also use it for plasma cutting, uh, you could use it for grinding, because it also has a grind mode like our very popular extra large viewing welding helmet. We want to make sure to move that feature over into this helmet. So if we can get Joe to zoom in here, uh, all the, the controls are actually on the top of this helmet, making it very, very easy to get to. So even with gloves on, once you got to figure out where everything is, you'll be able to adjust it without ever having to take it off like some helmets where you just, you can't, you got to stop and take it off, you know, push the settings inside the helmet. So this is a huge feature uh, between you have weld mode, you have grind mode. So if you just finished up what you were doing uh, with this helmet and you want to leave it on to protect yourself and go right into grind mode, just flip the switch. The helmet will no longer darken, allowing you to see what you're doing while you're grinding. And like I said, it's we actually have some footage of this helmet in use. Uh, it really good. This is good for MIG welding, TIG welding plasma cutting, and then like I said, you can even use it for grinding all with the same helmet, all without taking it off. You can go ahead and do all of that from uh, the top right here. Uh, so, and then at this point, we'll go back in again. Looks like Joe should be able to get in real close now. Uh, so the way we've done it is we have a delay knob so you can you know, easily adjust how long it stays dark for. So certainly there are times you want it just a little bit longer. Same with sensitivity. Uh, if you're in an area where it seems to be kicking off a little too early or because of the lights around, you can turn the sensitivity down and you can still weld. Um, and then how we do the shade, we actually have one knob for the shade for four to 12. And then we have the ability to change which uh, graph it's on, if you will, or which, which settings it's on. So you can easily fine tune it for four to eight or eight to 12, just making it really versatile. You know, you can use it on a little bit of everything. And now what we'll do is we'll flip over uh, to see if we can get a good view inside this helmet so we can get Joe to get in nice and tight. You can see how like, you know, first off, this viewing window in the center is huge. Uh, and then you can, with the addition of those two side ones, you just, you have so much more peripheral vision, just makes it so that we have, you're better aware of your surroundings when you're wearing it. It, it does make it very comfortable. Um, and like I said, I don't know if you can see it, the, the top head gear will probably be in the way a little bit, but there are two batteries in here. Very, very easy to get to, very easy to replace, very common uh, type batteries. And one of the biggest, neatest parts about this, like Randy had said about the clarity of this helmet, and I know we have a picture of it, this has the new uh, true color uh, lens. So when you're looking through it with all your old welding helmets, you always had that traditional green hue. Couldn't really tell what you're looking at other than you could tell you're welding, but there were no colors to it. So with this particular welding helmet, you can actually see color. And I got a chance to use it when it first came in. It, it blew me away. I, my entire life I've been welding with those green ones and it's, it's weird almost in the first time you use it, but it's a great weird because the fact that you can actually see, you know, all the colors, you can see what you're doing, just get a much, much better feel, you know, for where you're at. So at this point, we've really run through a lot of the features. You know, let's see if we can jump over to Randy to see where he's at. Um, yeah, a couple of people asked about the price. Com 
compared to some other units, generally it's probably going to be about half to one third uh, the price. Yeah, certainly there's some competitors out there who have, you know, similar larger view, you know, they have side windows, but they're not darkening side windows. And yes, they are probably at least twice the price of this. And uh, we have another question here. Do you know what the scroll compressor weighs? Scroll compressor, I want to say it's 349 pounds, but don't quote me on that Yeah, one. I know. Um, yeah, if, if you're interested, uh, we just came out uh, with a pre-sale on our brand new scroll compressor. Thing's amazing. You can barely even hear it run. Powers everything in the garage. And um, it's going to start shipping the end of December, but we're taking orders now. And if you get it, we actually give you a $200 gift card. Yeah, but um, uh, I, I was looking. I haven't found the, the final weight on it because we had a a question on it, but I know, I think website. it was like two or three of us lifted it in the back of a pickup truck. Yeah, it should be on the website. So Scroll down. <laughs> I, I did. It says to be determined. Ah. Uh, I mean, am, am I on an old website? It's possible. Yeah. I was on there this morning. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the scroll compressor site is definitely question. to check out. I got, I got another question. Let's do it. Um, how long do the lenses last? Uh, the, the lens cover right here. Probably Obviously, based on usage, right? Yeah, it's spatter. definitely based on usage. We do have the the uh, the outer ones here to be able to change them out since they are huge. The, it, it's one that covers everything. Very, very easy to change. They're just little side uh, pins out here that slide out the side. If you're using it for TIG welding versus grinding, the TIG's going to last a whole lot longer. Nothing really kicks up. So that's hard to say. Easiest thing I'd say, if you know you're going to be using it for a little bit of everything, just pick up one or two of these spare when you first get it. That way you have them in your box and you can kind of get a feel for how often you're going to use it. So that way you can get a good idea of, you know, when your reorder rate will be. But certainly we have them, so keep it um, nice and clean so you have a good view of what you're doing. Oh. Anything else, Randy? Sorry, I looked yeah. at it. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, okay. I, I guess to clarify, when I said three of us lifted the scroll compressor into the back of the truck, I was one of those people. So if I'm not there, you might need four, four. people. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Just, just I, yeah, I just want anybody, yeah, yeah. Just, to, and, just to clarify. And those particular units, the scroll compressors are shipping, uh, they should be truck shipping, so there'd be a lift gate on there anyway, so there'd be a set it down. But, um, and they have their nice own casters so you can push it around once you're down and off the crate. Uh, but certainly check those out as the pre-sale, like Randy said. And also check this out. If you're looking to get into welding, uh, either getting your first welding helmet or you're also looking to upgrade yours, seriously consider this because right now, I mean, it's innovative. Nobody else out there has something like it. So you can just have so much viewing window, but it'll still darken when you actually go to weld so you're protected. And, and the, uh, the guy asked about the, the lenses to get uh, replaced. We actually, does it come with an, the outside one, right? It, comes it should with come with, with an extra outside yeah. one. The and that's the main one out. that's going to get damaged is the outside exactly. one from spatter or anything else or dropping it on the ground. Yeah. And we give you a spare one of those. Exactly. Yeah. So at least you're already set there, but it's always a good idea to have at least, you know, a couple, a couple sitting around because when you're grinding and stuff, you'll chew it up more quickly. And one last thing I forgot to mention is this, I think I forgot to mention, is that this unit has four sensors. Uh, so really, no matter which way you're looking, at least, you know, one or two of them are going to be able to pick up the welding arc, so it's going to darken for you. Um, but it's good for your TIG welding, even your low amperage TIG welding, it's good for that, MIG welding, you name it. Uh, so, are you good over there, Randy? Yep. All right, well, double check this thing right here on eastwood.com, as it's a great unit, and as Randy said, always check out the scroll compressor, because it's a, a game changer there. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, we're here on uh, Wednesdays at 3 o'clock with our live videos. You guys have a great day.